Today's innovative science, tomorrow's modern world reliance. In achieving sustainable development goals, science plays a vital role. 20th February is celebrated as National Science Day or NSD in India. NSD is celebrated to commemorate the discovery of Raman effect by Sir C. V. Raman for which he won the Nobel Prize. The theme of National Science Day 2022 is Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for Sustainable Future. The main aim of National Science Day is to strengthen awareness among the people for the role of science in sustainable societies. Across nation, various award ceremonies are organized for the outstanding efforts of individuals in the field of science, ranging from the device that you are using for the classes to the headphones you are using while listening. Everything is science. Now you can imagine how much science is important for our achieving sustainable development goals by 2030. With science as a backbone, we can achieve sustainable development goals even before 2030. Hello, Namaste, everyone. Greetings of the day. Thank you all for joining me here at Worldwide Telecast. Headlines for today. Progressing towards sustainable goals due to advancement in science technology. Let's have a look what is happening in Mumbai. So collectively, de uh, developing countries have more than half of global renewable power capacity. China and India are rapidly expanding markets for renewable energy. Brazil produces most of the world's sugar-derived ethanol and has been adding new biomass and wind power plants. As we can see, countries as well as people are moving from non-renewable to renewable energy sources due to change in climate. As SDG Goal 7 and 12 focuses on sustainable use of energy, so we have invited Ms. Umema and Ms. Ashna to enlighten us how to achieve SDG goals with science as our backbone. In seeing the past few decades, we see how non-renewable sources of energy such as coal, petroleum, natural gas and others have been continuously damaging the climate and the atmospheric condition. Climatologists predict that if we continue to use them in such a robust way, we will harm the environment at a rapid rate and thus make the atmosphere unhealthy for all beings. Expanding infrastructure and upgrading technology to provide clean and more efficient energy in all countries will encourage growth and help the government. Science has advanced in these sectors and in the upcoming years we can achieve this SDG. Oh, similarly, SDG Call 12 mainly focuses on responsible consumption and production for the environment. As there is depletion of non-renewable resources like coal, we can use other alternatives such as biogas, hydro energy and solar energy in order to conserve coal so that it does not get exhausted in the coming future. Thank you so much for joining. So now we have Ms. Yadav connecting with us from Delhi. So right now here we are standing at Chandni Chowk. So let's take some views and opinions of the people about the increasing pollution in Delhi. Yeah, so Delhi. Delhi has been particularly vulnerable to air pollution over the last two decades, owing to population growth, increasing number of vehicles, use of fuels, inefficient transportation system, poor land use patterns, industrializations, and ineffective environmental regulations. I agree. So now let's take some views on how can we reduce this growing pollution in Delhi. The solution of the growing pollution is implementation of Sustainable Goal 11, targets to provide access to safe, affordable, accessible and sustainable transport system for all. By the development in science, this seems to be possible now, commonly referred to as green fuel because of its lead and sulfur-free characters. CNG reduces harmful emissions, thus reducing the effect of global warming. Look at the other developing countries like Canada. Their citizens are very concerned about the increase in pollution. 
Yeah, similarly, SDG 17 refers to the need for cross sectors and cross country collaboration in pursuit of all the goals by year 2030. It is a call for countries to align policies. SDG 17 is a vision for improved and more equitable trade, as well as coordinated investment initiatives to promote sustainable development across borders, and science is helping us to globally connect with each other. With the partnership of different countries together, we are able to get much information about COVID-19. The success of COVID-19 vaccination has saved many lives in these difficult times by building immunity against the virus. We are having ample of information about the vaccines and the virus by global connection. The campaign is going on at a large scale worldwide to vaccinate people. At last, keep following the protocols for COVID-19. Thank you, Ms. Surya, for having me here. Thank you. With that, it's the wrap of the edition of Worldwide Telecast News. We will meet you tomorrow here at same place, same time. Another word we associate with science in the modern world is innovation. Innovation in science has made our life a lot more easy and a lot more clean. Many companies have set the examples of green world, for example, Tata Power's largest renewable energy. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy by Government of India is also taking such steps for clean fuel and sustainable societies. Renew Power Ventures operates as an independent power producer. The concept of global village is also becoming popular these days. For example, there are Green Village West Bengal and Green Village Chhattisgarh etc. A world with abundance of resources is a world with renewable resources. SDG 7 seeks to ensure access to affordable and clean energy to all. India ranks fourth in renewable energy market of the world. Many Indian organizations are coming up to achieve this. For example, Sizzlon Energy Limited. SDG 11 emphasizes more on sustainable cities and communities. The various sustainable communities like Aurora Ville and Puducherry is an example of sustainable eco-village. Innovation and science are striving to build techniques for reforestation as well. SDG 12 is associated with sustainable consumption and production. Waste segregation and recycling can help achieve the goals. There are startups in India collaborating to buy, rebuy or resell their products. SDG 17, Partnership for the Goals, which aims to strengthen means of implementation of goals by global connection. Inclusive partnership built upon shared goals that place people and planet at the center. India has a membership with institutions like Shanghai Cooperative Organization, BRICS and South Asian Association.